were a kid and you would see the lightning and then you do one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three, and you would count the seconds until you heard the thunder. Well, does that actually measure how far away the lightning is? It does because of the speed of sound, but it's probably uh, shorter than you think. The speed of sound is 343 meters per second. And so if we time this out, you have the lightning and then every second that passes, that's how far uh, the sound has to travel before you hear the thunder. Now, if it takes five seconds, that's 1.715 kilometers. It's kind of hard to remember, right? But if you think 1.6 kilometers is equal to about one mile, then five seconds is roughly one mile. That's the speed of sound. Now, did you know that the speed of sound changes in differing air temperature? That speed of sound, 343 meters per second, that's in an ideal condition, about four degrees Celsius. As the air temperature warms up, the molecules in the air are moving a lot more excitedly, and that sound can actually travel faster. It's not a lot faster, but it's a little bit faster. And so if we break it down to one kilometer, that's how long it would actually take. In four degrees Celsius, it takes just shy of three seconds to go one kilometer. If it's 26 degrees Celsius, it's 2.8 seconds, so that much faster. What about lightning that you see but you don't hear the thunder. Well, that would be something called heat lightning. If you can see it, but you can't hear. And it's not because there's no sound. It's just because the sound dissipates as it travels outward. It means you're really far away from that lightning strike. What's heat lightning for you will just be regular old lightning and thunder for someone closer to the storm. So there you go.